In today's video I will go alone on one of the most populated Polaris servers and I will find myself an unknown island and build a pretty nice base, destroy groups and geared players, raid bases and getting a ton of loot. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. In the last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize please join my discord which will be in the description below and contact me over there. I also just released the LDG network with 3 servers ranging from Arid, Alvar and Polaris where I will be making a ton of videos and streams, perhaps even a series. If you guys want to play on my network and meet me there, I will have the link in the description below, as well as all of the IPs. Make sure to check them out today. Today we're going to run another mythical giveaway, which is an enchanted bull cobra. To win this, make sure that you've liked, subscribed, and commented something below. And if you're a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. And there's also a 10 mythical giveaway happening, which just released. The link will be in the description below. Before we dive into the video, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor. Are you guys trying to start your own answer network? Whether it's you want to do it for survival, roleplay, or you just want to create a private server for you and your friends, then look no further than Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can set up your server very easily, and they offer very high performance servers and a user friendly interface, and it is also very easy to learn. When I first started into hosting my network, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes on Pine Hosting, I learned the basics in a very short time. They also have locations scattered across the world, pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a lot of different games where you can buy Rust, Arc, or Minecraft servers. One of my favorite features is that with one click, you can install plugins and mods very easily. If you already have a server with another provider, you don't need to worry. Pine Hosting will provide personalized help to help you move your server. If you already start your own unturned servers, don't miss the link in the description below and make sure to use the code LDG for a huge discount of 30% off and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we're in Polaris, normal loot. Kind of a pay to win server, but obviously I don't have any server is populated as hell man Everyone is a villain and I'm here alone with a crazy every time you join the server you always get a crazy for whatever reason It's like a, a server thing What we're gonna try to do today is obviously we're gonna try to get ourselves a pretty nice base down Do full progression, you know the usual maybe try to do some raiding PvPing obviously and we're gonna be solo so we're probably gonna die a lot. Oh uh, yeah, let's pick up everything we can find Metzel. Obviously, I'm gonna try to get myself as much tools as possible. It is a uh, it's kind of empty this here, yeah, there's nothing really going on here. Power plant vest, I mean, oh, where did I don't have any vest? Might as well. Yeah, check out the gun store. There may be some guns over there. It's a full moon, so, which can be kind of good so that we can farm zombies. But I actually know of a base location that I can go to. It is literally unknown to everybody. It is a very, very, very small island. It's not even a part of the map. It doesn't require any glitching or whatever. And we're gonna try to get over there. So we're gonna see if perhaps I can build a base there. I think it'll be very cool. And I can guarantee that the base will actually last for a long time because nobody will go there. The only people that will go there are people like me. They just want to build a base in an unknown location on Polaris. Before I go there, I'm trying to get myself as much loot as possible because uh, in order to get there, it's gonna take a bit of a while because it's kind of far. And I don't really want to die in the process either all right so this base actually it is kind of taken over but we can actually enter that's kind of funny yeah we're through but there's absolutely nothing okay i might as well just put a bed in here for now because on this server for my plan to work to have an island base and it's very far away i need to have a second base a second bed technically so that i can just home to it and since the server does allow two beds on anybody then we'll have one bed in our main base and another bed right over here it's a very quiet area so i'll probably just need to seal it off just make a door may do a few of crates as well here but I think it'll I think it'll be a very good idea actually. Two beds. This is just for us to get into the action and to the looting area. And the second bed will be for our base, which is in the middle of literally nowhere. Alright, so this island, we have to go to this bridge and actually just cross all of it. A lot of people think that you cannot actually keep going on, but you can. There's like three other islands that you can go to. Alright, so a bit of an issue. The base that I actually wanted to build on. Um, there are people on it. So there's gonna be a live base, so. It's gonna be a bit of a problem actually, but there are other areas, there are other islands around which I could take over, but I guess I'm just gonna go try to kill them. I'm gonna make my second bet here, so if I die I'll just come back. I actually farmed a lot of logs, so if I die I lose literally so much logs. Oh, where he is? Yeah, there's a base there, it's probably theirs, man. These guys are living here. I never thought I would see people. Oh, he's actually swimming here. Yeah, he's dead. He had a kinney. Nothing crazy though. I'm gonna try to like maybe go deep on him and then like make them rage quit and then take over the island. But I don't really think it's gonna work. If not, I'll just go to another one. There's Benedict over here. He does spawn here. I'll just kill him. 
Oh, he's there. Oh my god. Okay, so a bit of an issue. They actually found my bed. They broke it. So I'm gonna go to another island very close. There's people shooting very close, man. But there is another small island. It's much, much smaller. Okay, so this was the island I was talking about. It is actually unclaimed, I think. There's a... Bro, there's a car there. What? There's a tractor here or something. Yeah, there is a car. Alright, we'll just break it. But, yeah, this is the island. It only has one tree. But I'm pretty sure it has its own barrel as well. I don't think literally anybody actually knows about this island. Yeah, there is a barrel. And this is literally hidden on the map. You can't even see this. But this is where we're going to build. There's two trees, not 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 one. Perfect. Yeah, there's some mercenary clothes too. Lovely. Alright, so I'm gonna just stop and down some trees and we're gonna start building the base right over here. And we're gonna see how long this base can last without getting completely raided. I really do think that it'll last the whole wipe. Alright, so this is where we're gonna start placing. For now, I'm not gonna build anything that crazy. Literally just a one by one. I'm not really scared of people door camping me over here. If I just put turrets all around this island, literally just instantly took over. It's so easy to take it over, man. All you need is just a little bit of time and dedication, and that's it. The only problem is it's too far, so... In order for us to actually leave, we just have to have a second bed. So if it's on a server that only has one bed, it's gonna be very annoying for you to actually move around. But this server is actually perfect for this. Oh, oh my god, he came out of- what? Bro, there's no way. It's fine, I'll just home. We're back. Yeah, he's not gonna even realize this. Thankfully, I died literally right under this base. Yeah, my guy is literally just standing there. I'm gonna do what he did to me, bro. There we go. Wonder if he had any loot. Oh, he had some stuff. Alright, well, I'll take everything. Probably should have placed a bed that's at a better location than at Norva, bro. This place is so bad for loot. What I can do is actually, like, I can build a second base. Literally anywhere. At, like, Fort Evergreen. It doesn't matter. At a hotspot for PvP. And use that as a temporary base. I think that would be a, a great idea as well. So I also worked on base a little bit, made it into a 2 by one Over here we're gonna do a hatch and a ladder, it'll look quite cool. And we're obviously gonna make it a bit larger than a one by one one by 2 We try to make it multiple floors, I'm gonna try to have a window out, and from that window I'm gonna try to have, like, a good fishing spot. Because from fishing in Polaris you can actually get some good loot, some easy loot, I wouldn't have to worry about people being here. You can get stuff such as sign crystals, Players, flowers, literally stuff to make lotuses. But we'll do that much later. We'll obviously not do that right now. Over here we have a penguin. This is gonna be my pet. There's only one penguin spawn here. We're gonna name this penguin Gerald. So Gerald will just be chilling there. Occasionally I'll kill him for a salmon or something. And then Gerald will just respawn. Alright, so an update. I played on the server like three days ago and I got raided. So this was the base that I had. And there's still a lot of armored stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I brought a blowtorch. And I am going to pick up the armored parts and have them for our base. So I'm just gonna take Blowtorch, fix them up, and we're gonna move them. Let's get ourselves an easy Cyan Crystal. We're gonna try to farm for Lotuses so we can do a dead zone run. That's our next step. Let's just put that in a vault. I see Pete. There's a duo actually. They're speaking in game, bro. Speaking Russian or something. Yeah, they're not gonna expect this. I'm gonna go behind them and try to kill them. Yep, one of them dead. I'm gonna see where the other one is. Oh, he's right here. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, he had a shotgun, bro. Oh, he has copper coils. Three of them. Lovely. All right, let's just switch the clothes. Huge. Second dude, he had some okay stuff. Night vision, that's nice. Layer gun, rainbow beret. Okay, well, full inventory. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I was gonna go to the mines to try to farm some metal, actually, for a base, but slight detour. So base is actually starting to get quite cramped up. Full of crates, lockers. They actually do have loot in them, that's the... That's the crazy thing. Actually, for these, we'll just place them down. We'll save up some storage that way. But we're getting a lot of guns, man. Even though, we probably don't need this much, but... It doesn't matter, man. But very soon, we're gonna do a dead zone run. That's really what I want to do. My goals for today is just building a nice base here. Doing a dead zone run. And getting ourselves, perhaps, just one raid. One raid would be more than enough for me right now. I'm not gonna focus on quests or none of that. Alright, let's just put all of the items that we don't wanna lose in here. We'll probably still roam around with the kinney. And we'll go to our next home. Lovely. We'll take the drill and we'll chop down some trees in the process. Let's just put this there. Alright, so I did move the bed, by the way. The bed over at Norva, we moved it all the way over here next to this road. Over here, there's a construction area. And there's a military area. And the mines are very close. So it's literally a very good location to get good loot. 
Zombies moving around. Oh, somebody up flare. Bro, my guy's flying. I think he's dead. What? Bro, die. There we go. I'm still getting shots at. Bro, there's like five dudes shooting at me. Bro, die. Oh my god, there's so many. Bro, there's like... Okay, I just came across like... Okay, there's a three mana, two mana, two mana. I assume literally all of them are there. All right, well, there's nothing we can do. At least killed one. All right, let's just focus on what we have to do. Let's just focus on getting ourselves the Gauss Musk. All right, back in base from another day. Run. Got nothing, bro, but I'm gonna place this rope. Got myself a penguin. That's it. Insane load. Put the penguin right over there. Looking great. All right, boys, it is dead zone time. Let's hope we get something good, bro. What's I really want from here? Oh, it's gunpowder, armored parts. And honestly, I'll take everything. The only thing I don't really want is gun oil. Because I literally never... Uh, and I just got gun oil. But yeah, gunpowder is good. It is a full moon, so we're gonna literally farm for as long as possible. Kind of waited for a full moon. Just shoot them all down. Problem is, I may run out of ammo, actually. It's kind of the only problem I have. Uh, yep, and I am out. So I just gotta find myself a 7 mm 9 mm drum. Armor parts. There, I got myself a drum. I think. Nope. Never mind. I got another gunpowder there. The thing is, they literally never stop respawning. Oh, there we go. Got myself a drum. Alright, we're back. Pretty good run. Got myself quite a ton of gunpowder. Got six gunpowder, which is uh, equivalent to 3C4, which is pretty nice. A lot of armored plates, so we'll be upgrading blockers, base parts, even though he, the majority of base is already armored from the previous base that I had. But had a lot. Myself a few gun parts too, which is quite nice. I'm not gonna complain. A lot of penumbra boxes. Look at that. Got so many of those. But we spent literally all of the filter that I had. Alright, over the mine, farming metal, that's my next step. Don't have a jackhammer. I do have a drill, but I kind of left it at base, but it, it's alright. Some of the nodes are already farmed, so there was somebody here earlier. They may still be around, but if we see them, we'll try to kill them, obviously. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna do a horde beacon. I got everything for it. I'm gonna take the drill and the grill, and we're gonna go at the military checkpoint next to my second bed. Alright, horde popped. We got ourselves two lotuses, huge. And let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so we're back in the dead zone. Full moon once again. It's always a full moon. And we're gonna get ourselves the boss. Yep, he's here. Hopefully we get ourselves multiple military crates. I really don't know how much military crate this server drops. That's your load. I'm kinda scared I'm gonna get countered or something like that, bro. Alright, broke and uh, we got one crate. Huge. I just met up. Alright, let's see what we get. We're just gonna open it right now while we're homing and... Uh, Alright, well, we got some gunpowder. Power plant helmets. Insane loot. And we are back in our base. Ourselves a suave vest as well. Looking good. Just turn our generator on, turn the lights on. Alright, great. Honestly, you know what? I'm kind of happy with it. Could have been much worse. And plus, we can just go back there whenever we want. Wait for the mega to respawn. And easy crates, man. I think next I'm gonna start upgrading base a little bit, so. But first we just gotta place everything. All of the gunpowder that we got. All of the plates as well. Yeah, so the bottom floor is literally fully occupied. There is nowhere for me to place more stuff. So we're gonna start upgrading the second floor. First of all, we're gonna start with putting a locker here. Putting all of the loot in it. And I'm just gonna start chopping down trees. Go probably to a bigger island. And then we'll just get ourselves even more logs. Alright, so we also went to the uh, save zone and I actually bought myself metal uh, seeds. I did do some quests after all and we're just gonna basically just plant them, man. Same time we'll get metal and we're gonna finish a quest as well. But yeah, this base has been here for a while. Already a full day almost. And it, it's still alive, man. It's quite interesting that literally nobody ever goes here. Most people don't even know about it. If fertilizer doesn't work on metal, I mean, that makes sense. I'll just wait for them. At the same time, I'm probably gonna just seal off this part of the base. 
And we'll do what I wanted to do from the very start. And that is, uh, we're gonna start fishing very, very soon. We still have some more stuff to do, some more final touch-ups. Including a raid. There's a base raid very close to this small island, which we'll probably just raid. Alright, so this is the base that I was talking about. It's actually quite larger than I thought, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. Oh, actually, this part is not even sealed off. We can try to get in there, actually. I'm gonna try to go salvage with my leather. Thing is, we gotta be careful that I don't get stuck in there, even though I can just home whenever. Alright, let's just jump in. I don't think there's actually anything. Oh, dude, we're literally in the base. What? Alright, well, there's just a bunch of garage doors. This garage door leads to outside. There's two garage doors down here, so I'll probably just raid one of the sides. And hope that there's gonna be loot back there. I really hope it's not like a garage or whatever. But we got 3C4. Let's hope it's enough, man. That's really it. I'm gonna put them here. I'll break the wall back there and the wall at the side, hopefully. Yep, it did, and yep, we got some loot, but nothing, man. Grenades, tape, bunch of guns, bunch of mags, sniper, grenade, and a bunch of more mags. And yeah, we still did not raid fully this base, obviously, I think. We just have to raid in this part. There was nothing special, man. Just a lot of magazines, 5.56, five, and a few grenades. The grenades are actually quite good, because for me to make C4, I did need grenades. Right, let's just take the guns anyway. We can just fill them up with magazine and put a stock, so we got actually an extra gun. Alright, so after a hard day of work, I'm just gonna fish, man. That's literally all I'm gonna do. We already got three good items, got one of the best fish, copper coil and military drive. And we can just do this literally from our base. We could just spend a full hour just doing this and see what we get. And it's, it's, it's safe, man. It's safe. Literally from one to another fishing rod it only takes like 30 seconds or even less. So two items per minute that are high tier. Let's see what we get. Yeah, another military drive. But yeah, after that, I did leave the server. I love that you guys did enjoy this type of chill video. It's type kind of different than usual, but I really still had a good time. If you guys want to see more like this, let me know in the comment section below. We did get basically all the loot that we needed in literally around like three hours. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy it anyway, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.